Oshio. Please forgive me, I'm eating a little snack, or I guess you'd say part of my supper. <laughs> and then I gotta go to bed. Haven't been doing a whole lot of sleeping lately. And now it's kind of catching up with me. But what I wanted to do is to say, give a, a little bit of advice for my brothers and, brothers and sisters in Christ. And that would be for the ones, especially who are younger, too. Uh, now, there are many people and things that you run into here, which you know you see all kinds of weird, crazy, strange things. You don't want to get lured into it, especially if the Lord is calling you out to do any kind of missionary work. And you should have this, have this, set inside of your heart and determine that when you go to put your shoes on your, your clothes on each time that you pray before you go anywhere that you pray and ask for God's will where does he want you to go what does he want you to do what does he want you to say what direction? I, I'd been in that position once where I thought I was going one way in the Lord, uh, one direction for the Lord, and then turn around. The Lord said, there, said, No, I want you to go this way. When I was heading this way, He wants me that way. And, and I was already tired, but I just knew I wasn't going to put it, be putting up a fuss. So I went, only, I went His way because I know His way is always better. So it's always best that one does so. So, uh, and, and be careful of the, the people online. Watch for the tricks. And, and, and my suggestion, unless you're really familiar with them, then really don't bother to try to tackle them. Unless, unless you have any knowledge of them, my suggest is stay away from the Muslims. Your best thing that you can do is pray for them because if you go and try to get yourself into any kind of debates and stuff with them you're going to get dragged down and you don't want that you know so this is suggestions with you uh, just live your life the way God wants you to live it as he sees fit in his will not as what one their says, not as we will. But God has things for you to do, and it's best that you do them. And, you know, is to do it without leaning to our own understanding, no matter how something silly something may seem when he tells you to do it, do it. Sometimes it can be the most silliest things, but he uses those things to confound the wisdom of wise people, educated people. He confuses them, you know, because they still think they're above God and God's showing them they don't have anything. And they don't. All they got is head knowledge and that don't mean nothing. You can take those guys that are so head knowledge and, you know, like say if uh, someone goes to college and to, to learn to be a, a interior, exterior dinner, uh, interior exterior decorator it's like uh, for instance there was one boy did that and he had spent quite a long time he spent like four or six years in it and he never had any experience and so my father hired him on a, on a project and turned around the boy was trying to tell him how to run the business and my father had been doing it for years. You know, and the boy had none, none, actually no experience. He's trying to, to tell him how he's supposed to, to roll the roller and, and do the paintbrush and how this and stuff. 
My father had been it for many years, had many clients. You know, you know, a man knows what he's doing. Usually someone who's got experience knows. You know, and, uh, but see, the point is, you get people out there who think they got experience and turn around that they don't. And uh, so my advice to you, and that's all it is, is advice, is well, keep your eyes open out there and do not allow, don't, don't, don't close your eyes because these guys out there can sneak in on you and, 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 and you never know it. Slip something by you without you even, without you having any realization of it. And, uh, and also remember, <laughs> our Uncle Sam, as we call him, is watching us. But hey, you need to, to to live your lives for Yeshua. Be a good example. And when anyone wants to fight with you and argue with you, don't give them that satisfaction. Because that's what they want. And if you give it to them, they won. You lost. And that can be very effective for them unaffected for the for the body of Christ you know you don't want to give one for them you know you, because they are of the world and greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world so you have to lean on the Holy Spirit for help and guidance and his direction and anything, no matter what it is, even here on YouTube, even here, it is easy for one to forget. It's a lot easy to forget about that, but you, one shouldn't. And pray for each one and one another and give encouragement to each other. In fact, I hope that uh, some of you will uh, leave a response. At least let me know how y'all are doing. You know, it is, if it's not in saying, hi, I'm okay, then that's good enough. Simple. And just, you know, just let me know, okay? So, I want to wish y'all a good night. And may you sleep well in Yeshua. And may tomorrow bring another day. Who knows? He might could come to tomorrow. <laughs> Amen. Oh, so sleep in Jesus. Let Yeshua cover you with His talit. Ha ho, shalom. <laughs>